Hi, I'm Marty Nemco. Normally, we think of volunteering as, for example, donating time to a nonprofit or maybe to a friend, but there are less considered options. Computer philosopher Jaron Lanier recommended that each time we volunteer to write a review of a product or service, say on Amazon, Yelp, or Google, we receive a micropayment in that the company makes money from our reviews because traffic and in turn sales likely increase, albeit modestly, it seems appropriate that reviewers receive fair compensation. On the other hand, part of what people like about volunteering to write reviews is the ethical purity. Most of us feel good about spending a couple minutes expressing our judgment about a product or service we've experienced without it being sullied by the pecuniary, which would end up being just a pittance anyway, too big a sacrifice for said pittance. And say a company offered you a penny to write a review, and they'd probably pay you less than that, minus taxes, mightn't you be less likely to write a review, thereby denying potential buyers of your experience? Most people like volunteering to help a stranger who asks for directions. It would be unthinkable to ask for money. Then there are the random acts of kindness, putting a nickel in a parking meter when the ticket giver is about to pull up, picking up neglectful owner's dog poop, and tossing neighbors' newspapers onto their porch rather than letting it sit on the sidewalk, which requires a subscriber, even in a frigid snowstorm, to traipse out to get the paper. Maybe the core question, though, is to ask yourself, are you doing more or less volunteering than you'd like? And ideally, are your efforts likely to yield unusual benefit? For example, I play the piano, and most days in between clients, I give what I call a concertini, a five-minute concert. I just sit down at the piano, whatever I'm wearing like this, if I'm, you know, dealing remotely with remote clients who aren't seeing me, and I open the window so passers-by can hear. I play what I can easily play and what I enjoy playing and what I think the neighbors might like. So typically a program will consist of two numbers. For example, a Les Mis medley and Scott Joplin's Maple Leaf Rag, You'll Never Walk Alone and Defying Gravity from Wicked, MacArthur Park and Magna de Carnaval, That's a Day in the Life of the Fool. So what about you? Oh, by the way, you can Google the name Nemco in any of those, and I think you'll find most of them. I think for sure you'll find Manya de Carnaval, but you'll find others too, I think. Anyway, so what about you? What sort of volunteering should you do more of, less of? Or is it time to try something new? In any event, I thank you for watching. I'm Marty Nemco. I welcome your thumbs up and accept your thumbs down. I always look forward to your comments, and especially like you if you hit the share button below. Share on your social media so that my efforts can have broader impact. And I am flattered if you choose to subscribe to my channel. And in any event, I do thank you for watching. I am Marty Nemco.